fashion sewers and welcome to Fashion Sewing Blog TV. I'm Colleen G. Lee and in this video demonstration I'm going to be showing you how to sew a patch to an elbow. Putting a patch on an elbow area can be for two reasons. One could be for a decorative reason so it doesn't necessarily need to be a case where you're covering a tear. Now this for example, I'm doing a repair to this and this is what I'm going to be demonstrating in this video tutorial, how to mend the repair and then put a patch around the area. I'm going to demonstrate this technique with this little sample that I've got here. Now we've got a tear and we've got an interfacing that will be put onto the tear and then we have the patch. Now the patch is also interfaced because we want to make sure that it's stable and firm. The third thing I'm going to do is to make sure that the tear isn't open so it's as flat as possible and then once I'm happy with that I get my fusible interfacing and I put that on top. I'm also working on the right side of the garment so it's on the right side and then I press the interfacing in position. I have now pressed my interfacing into place on the right side of the garment and I'm turning over there we have the tear and this is the wrong side and now going to zigzag along the tear. My sewing machine to a zigzag stitch and I'm going to make sure as I'm zigzagging that I'm going from one end of the tear to the other. So this is what it looks like on the wrong side. I've zigzagged it twice just to make sure that it doesn't separate. So I'm going to give it the strength test. Yes, I'm happy with that. Let's turn it on to the right side. Yep, I'm happy with that. Now working on the right side, I'm now ready for my patch and I'm going to cover the torn area. And the next thing for me to do is take it to my sewing machine and then I'm going to zigzag around the edge. When you're ready to stitch the patch to the garment, you need to make sure that I'm using a zigzag stitch that it's, the stitch goes into the patch and then also into the garment, into the patch and then also into the garment. So let's get started. You can see that there, it's so into the patch, into the garment, into the patch. And I'm gonna go all the way around. And there we have it, the patch sewn into position on the right side of the garment and it zigzagged around the edge, making sure that you get the needle into the patch and also into the garment. There are other ways in which you can finish off your patch to apply onto your garment. You can actually finish the raw edges of your patch first using a blanket stitch or a zigzag stitch and then put it onto the garment and then sew a straight stitch all the way around. It wouldn't necessarily be flush like what I've done in demonstration but it will still have that creative effect. Please do subscribe to Fashion Sewing Blog TV for free weekly video tutorials and if you have any comments or queries please put them in the comment box below and I'll see you next time.